Where's your point of focus? On my lips or on my cleavage? Yes. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I want this dress especially for my cleavage. Okay. <laughs> Oh, all right. Okay, David. David and I go back a long way. I'll just tell you a little story about David McTurn and me. David and I um, go back 13 years. Do you know that, David? 13 years. <laughs> David and I, I come from Northport, Long Island, and in Northport, it's surrounded by water. And in Northport, there's a section of town called Crab Meadow. And in Crab Meadow, there was a two-story house with a bunch of guys. And I used to hang out there. And... Uh, <laughs> My mother's in the audience. Um, and actually, they were nice guys. Nothing went on. We just sang in a rock and roll band together. And David didn't live in that house, but David played guitar. And John Scholl, is he here tonight? Later. He's here later. Well, John Scholl played guitar as well. And then I went away, and David went away. And then years later, I'm coming home from a vacation in Cape Cod. I'm driving home, and Midnight at the Oasis is playing and playing and playing. And at one point, through my stream of consciousness came David Nickton. I hadn't seen him in years, I didn't know why. So, and we get to Long Island and I say, please stop, I have to go to a record store and buy that record, it's fabulous. So I got Maureen Moldar's album and I looked at the back of it and there's a picture of David, but nothing registers. I open it up and I see that David wrote the song. And I was astounded and I was so happy for him. <laughs> David Midnight, Happy Oasis Nickton. And I was very happy for him. And um, then years later, time passed, and then all of a sudden, while I was doing Evita, I get a telephone call from the same David Nickturn. And all I'm saying here is that we come full circle, that I work with David Nickturn again. That's it. <laughs> These next two are by Mr. David Nickturn.